my god, you don't even, oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to more garbage content. I really, I have no other way of explaining myself other than lazy. You guys have wanted me to do this for a while and that is reacting to people versus horses. But today I wanted to do something that I feel like probably all equestrians want to do from time to time and that is Fuck you! If you are not an equestrian and you don't take the proper steps to learn how to ride horses correctly, you make the entire sport look bad. And not only that, but you also are the reason why horses die, why horses are considered dangerous. So please, for the love of fucking God, bitch, if you don't know anything about horses, take the proper necessary steps to learning how to ride. Okay, one more thing before we get into this. This is my supers hoodie. Oh my god This is one of my all-time favorites as you guys know those links will all be down below as well as we have so many others That are out and available right now if you want to follow the Instagram page It is shop Raleigh and link as well as my Instagram my horse Instagram and my dog's Instagram will all be down there below But let's get into this shit. <laughs> I feel like there's no shortage of really stupid people out there <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 16 seconds in. We managed to get 16 motherfucking seconds in before I have to say something. <laughs> First of all, these are actually equestrians. Although, can we really, like, can we really call barrel racers equestrians? <laughs> I'm just kidding to all you barrel racers out there. I'm kidding! It's a joke, you fucking cunts! I was a barrel racer once upon a time, and I just have to say, to be honest, a lot of barrel racers fucking suck and they're really uneducated and really stupid and have no idea how to ride. Now, I'm not saying that that's all barrel racers. I've certainly met hundreds and hundreds of barrel racers who are phenomenal riders and treat their horses really well. It's the same way I feel about every sport. Look, there's bad people in every area and in every sport. So what happened, I guarantee you, is she cut the turn way too tight. She's not balanced properly. It looks like this just turned into a whole shit show and it's definitely not the horse's fault. Learn how to let go of the reins when you fall, okay? And people tell me that I'm a bad person for saying this. Honestly, you need to practice letting go of the reins when you fall because it's inevitable. You ride horses. Now there's going to be a few times where you hold the reins and that's totally fine. It's just a reaction. It's an instinct, but there's going to be dozens and dozens of times where you fall off a horse. And when you do, one of the things that you should prep your mind for is to mentally be prepared to let go of the reins. It is so, so dangerous to hold on to the reins. I can't even tell you you can be drugged you can get caught up in the reins you're gonna rip your horse's face off your horse can step on you so that guy's just an idiot that was good oh my god uh, can we talk about that look at how she immediately lets go of that neck rope and it's just a neck rope but look at her reaction right here bam let's go she doesn't even try to hold on yeah that happens a lot Oh, I've seen this woman so many times. So if you actually see the full video of that woman with the horse that flips over on her, she's like seriously ripping off her horse's face for a solid two or three minutes before he finally flips over on her. 150% her fault. If you are fighting with your horse that bad, don't ride. Don't just get off. It's a 1200 pound animal. It's not worth it. The 16 second barrel run is not worth you going to the hospital with broken ribs. Let go. Oh, <laughs> oh God, you deserve that. Get up, get up. What is the kid trying to do? <laughs> There's only so much that you can educate children who are learning how to be around horses and interact with horses. I personally am of the mindset that 
you do the best you can, but most of the time kids have to learn the hard way. Just a good example, when I was a little kid, people always told me to feed a horse with my hand straight open, and I did not want to because I thought the horse was going to bite me or something, so I would always feed the horse like this, and people always told me, they're like, Raleigh, one day your dumb ass is going to get bit, and sure enough, I went to feed a horse and he bit off my entire thumbnail and I was standing there holding my hand and there was blood gushing down and I was like, oh my god! Good for the horse. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like, I don't understand why people do this if they know they're just gonna be bucked off. Is that your goal in life, is to be bucked off a horse? Wait, what the fuck happened there? Hold on. Oh no, that riding instructor fucked up big time. So right here he's saying up and he's pushing the horse faster with his left hand. The horse turns and is kicking at the instructor. Also, this guy is seriously off balance. I don't know why the instructor would be trying to get the horse to go any faster because whoever is on this horse can barely ride, can barely manage to even stay on. <laughs> Bye. This is too much work. Whoa. Like, why? Why? Uh, nothing against people who are overweight, but if you want to ride something, ride a wheelchair. You have no idea how fucking damaging it is to do that to a horse. You can destroy so much in a horse's back by sitting on them and having way too much extra weight. It's the most irresponsible, uneducated, and cruel thing to do to a fucking horse. When I was in high school, I had to wear a pregnancy belly for like four hours and I barely made it through. And that was what, like an extra 15 pounds of weight on me? I can't even imagine if someone who weighed fucking 500 pounds sat on my back. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Oh my god, bitch. And you got a tiny horse? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, you don't even- oh my god. What were you trying to get out of that? Were you just trying to humiliate yourself? Bigger people can ride horses. Let's talk about this. You can ride a horse as long as the horse is big enough to carry you. And it has nothing to do with being fat. It has to do with surpassing the horse's weight percentage capability. You should not, including your tack, weigh more than 20% of the horse's body weight. This is all about respect responsibility people and as equestrians it's our job to make sure that people who are uneducated who don't know anything about horses we educate them the best of our ability so that way they have a positive experience the horse has a positive experience and no one gets hurt because guess what when you do stupid shit like this the horse gets hurt the person gets hurt and the horse is the one that pays um excuse me what in the white trash is going on here? What the fuck are they doing? It's a tug of war between horses and 50 people. Who cares? 90% of the shit that I see that I react to, my initial reaction is, what were you thinking? Why would you even try to do that? What are you going to get out of that? You know, what do you expect? Why would you even care to try that? Who cares who wins? If this is what you find entertaining, you have issues. Oh God. Okay guys, well, that is it for this video. Um, hopefully that was entertaining because honestly, it's not funny. I don't find any of this stuff to be funny. I look at a lot of it and I'm like, wow, so that situation could have ended really poorly and you could have gotten seriously injured or the horse could have gotten seriously injured. I don't know why people choose to do that, whether it's for views or attention, who knows, but that's just my personal feelings on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, all those links will be down below. Once again, if you would like to pick up the 
supers collection i will link that down below as well but otherwise thank you guys so much i will see you guys in my next video love you guys goodbye